Tell me about fantasy. Were you a big Tom Tom Club fan? Yeah, I, I used to love the song, and I still do. Genius of Love was one of my favorite songs growing up. And then I heard it on the radio recently, and I just I had this other idea for the you know the verses and the chorus of my song, and I thought that it'd be really cool to incorporate the two. So we did it. Were they surprised to hear from Mariah Carey? Because I wouldn't think naturally right. you'd put the two together. It was kind of a yeah. I think they were probably a little bit surprised, but. Um, you know, I'm glad that it worked out because I think they really fit together well. And I had to, I put the I'm in heaven part, you know, from their song in it because that's How like does that part my favorite go? part. I can't sing it today. I'm not one. Why did you pick that as a single? I mean, a lot of times, um, you know, you've, you've released ballads and, right. you know, was this, was it any, did it, was it a calculated move on your part? Does it mean anything or does it just... I like this song better right now, so I'm picking this one. Well, I really haven't had, you know, an, a non-ballad out in a very long time. So um, I'm like, okay, ready. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel like singing another ballad right now. As far as the single is concerned, you've got several different versions of it because you spend a lot of time doing remixes. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about the remix and how it's different from the single. It's the Puffy Combs remix, who is like you know, basically the top of all the the hip-hop scene, basically, you know, he does like, the best, makes a lot of great records and does incredible remixes. And um, so I really wanted to work with him on, on that song because I thought he was, you know, the ultimate. And um, the ultimate person that I want to do the rap was ODB because I just think that his style is so unique and flavorful that he was perfect. And in the song, I think there's some reference to you guys having been down. What's the word? He makes some reference to you guys having known each other for a long time. What does he say? We've been down <laughs> since, like, we're sucking on a pacifier or something? I knew or? him since he was LDB. Little dirty pants. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No. I mean, well, how'd you guys... <laughs> How, all right. The obvious question is: Tell right. me how you became friends with old Dirty Bastard. It's not. A, I would say it's pretty strange bedfellows. It's a secret. You got to ask him. Oh come on! <laughs> I can't reveal it. All <laughs> right. No. He's, what, tell me what he's like. He's very interesting. He's very, <laughs> no. He's no. He's very talented. He's very very talented, and he's real. And I thought that he was. You know, if I could have had anybody in the world, he would have been my choice to be on my record. Did he show up on time? Was he, he showed there? Up. He, he was, was he there. punctual. He was great. This he was very cooperative. He was very cool. And he he knows exactly what he wants. And you know, he's he's very cooperative. He was very cool. Is I this really somebody that you'd want to hang out with in the future? I you think know, it would be interesting. <laughs> it wouldn't be boring. <laughs> And what do you think his friend said when he said, I'm going to be on Mariah Carey's record? I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> do, how, are, how, how are the people, DJs and, and other music industry people that have heard the connection, what's been the reaction of the pairing up well, of Old Dirty Bastard and Mariah Carey? I think it's kind of uh, <laughs> I mean, that was a, a bizarre point. Combo, I mean, you wanted to mess with people a little I did. bit, I'm and sure. And it's like, you know, I don't always have to do one thing. I love hip-hop. And I've been a fan of Wu-Tang Clan since they first came out. And, you know, I just thought that ODB was perfect for, for this song especially. And so that's 